I have uh, been in love with films and filmmaking ever since I can remember, and same thing with cards and magic. Uh, at a very young age with uh, magic, I read everything I could on the subject and got really interested in cards and card magic because it's really the kind of thing that you can do. It's just a borrowed item and it's just you against, uh, not really against, but working for someone, uh, the spectator or something. There's no trap doors, there's nothing that's really going to help you with it. It's just pure skill and uh, dexterity. I would equate this more almost with the hustler than anything else. Um, and Cincinnati Kid, obviously, is, there's some, some parallels there that I've, are going to be drawn. But uh, I, I really want to do a hustler except for about the card hustler because we really haven't seen that, that character on film before. It's always been alluded to. Somebody did something in the Sting or somebody, you know, in House of Games or something like that. We really haven't focused on that character of the card mechanic as, as, a, as a lead. Shade is the gambler or hustler's uh, kind of uh, slang term for misdirection. Uh, you would use it as uh, what kind of cover you would use for a move, a move that's open or something. What kind of shade, what kind of distraction do you use from it to actually uh, draw attention away from the actual uh, subterfuge that's going on? The level of the actors are just amazing. I mean, we have uh, Stuart Townsend, Gabriel Byrne, Tandy Newton, Jamie Foxx, Sylvester Stallone, and uh, Melanie Griffith. And uh, Bo Hopkins, of course, who was uh, there from the very beginning. And these actors all kind of came in from, from different ways. I mean, we'd get the scripts to a number of different people. They responded to it. And it seemed like the actors, once they read it, they just they immediately uh, kind of wanted to do it. And they wanted to meet with me. Tandy read it. She was in London. She read it. She wanted to meet the director because that was the first time director. She had no idea who I was. I jumped on a plane that afternoon, flew out there, and met her. I did some card stuff in front of her, <laughs> and she seemed to think if we could do this with a deck of cards, maybe we should take a gamble on me with the camera. And uh, she signed on, Stallone read it, he uh, thought he could do something really interesting with the role, and I'm uh, just amazed at uh, what he's doing in this film, it's going to be very, very cool. First of all, I, I, I had a great cast and crew, which just makes my job almost non-existent. It's just, it's just fun, you know, to go along and, and watch these people uh, work their craft, those the actors and, and the crew. But the thing that really surprised me is I've always wondered exactly how different it would be shooting a film of this size as opposed to shooting films with my friends in the backyard. And the nice thing is I'm actually kind of shooting it the same way I shot it with my friends in the backyard and, and the fact that I know I'm kind of going to be editing it along with another editor and I know exactly how I want this to look. So we just shoot and have fun and, and do pops and let the actors work and play. Um, I, I think the thing that surprised me the most is that there, I'm not doing what I would do on that. In fact, that I don't have to light, I don't have to do this. I have all these great people doing these things for me. So many times I'm just, okay, I just wait until I do my job. It's great. I'm just, it's an amazing crew and it's been an amazing process, but it's really rewarding to find out that the way I always wanted to shoot a film is actually turning out to work. Say the Ace Club was on top of the deck, and I wanted to get that into my hand. But if you and I are playing a head-to-head -head game of poker, I'd of course be forced to deal you the top card and take the next one for myself. So I'd deal you that one and take the next one. Unless, of course, I didn't want to. That's what's known as the second deal, or actually keep the top card, deal the second card. And that can be done slowly like that for a head-to-head -head game. Of course, if we're playing in a casino for a number of different players, or I'm dealing around another table, that's what's known as dealing seconds. I'll turn it face up here so you can actually see what this looks like in slow motion here. You actually see... That second card is being drawn out here, top card stays on top, gathers dust.